Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here with Elf Automation. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And in today's training, I'm gonna show you how to turn your membership website or your digital course website into a paid product. So that way you can charge for access uh, to your course or your membership website. And so in, in, a, in a previous video, I, I walked you through step-by-step step how to create your own digital course online, um, how to create, and it's the same as, you know, if you wanted to create a membership website, we're gonna have some education in there, some training in there, perhaps some downloads in there. Um, and you could set that up uh, to where it's a free membership website, or you have the ability to turn it into a paid product. So now I wanna take that next step with you guys and show you how to turn your membership website into a paid product. So here inside of the my membership section, here is the test you know lead generation course uh, that we went ahead and created. And again, if you didn't uh, see that walkthrough video, there'll be a link to it below this video. And but what we want to do now, right now, it's all set up for free access. People can easily log into it, create an account, and gain access to this particular course. But we want to turn this into a paid course, so that way you can sell the access and actually make some money. So let's get back over here and let's go into my products. And we're essentially gonna turn your course into a product. And so here in my products, we're gonna click the plus product over here. And we're gonna use this as a main product. We're gonna give it a name, so test lead generation course, okay? And this will be a main product. Okay, and since we've created some other, another, another product in here, we could use this as an upsell or downsell. Okay, we'll talk about that kind of stuff and even create some upsells and downsells in future videos, okay? But here we just wanna make it to where um, people have to pay to gain access to your course, okay? So the official name will be the test lead generation uh, course here, okay? And the description. Okay, description of our course, right below here, is I will show you how to generate, if I could spell, leads online, okay? And again, when you create a product, you do have the ability to make it public on the Kartra marketplace so other Kartra users could find it. Again, this is just a test course. It's kind of a dummy dummy course here. Um, so it's, again, this is just a test course, so we're gonna keep it as private. We'll click save right here. Down below, you'll configure your payment gateway, and let's say, hey, I wanna use PayPal for this. And again, you know, this option is available because I've already integrated PayPal with my Kartra account. And again, if you haven't set up your payment gateways before you create any products, you're gonna to wanna to have that done in advance because it's gonna ask you for it right off the bat and you can't proceed without adding a payment gateway. Otherwise, you can't create a paid product. So again, if you haven't seen how to um, add PayPal to your Kartra account or integrate that, there'll be a link below this video that shows you how to integrate payment gateways step by step. So we'll leave it at PayPal for now. We'll just go ahead and click save and we'll click save and next. The next step is we're gonna talk about pricing. So again, if you want folks to pay you know, one time for access to your course, you would select this option here. Perhaps you want them to pay a monthly membership fee to gain access to your course. We're gonna set this up as just a one-time payment Okay, so price description, this will be lifetime access to our course, okay? And for this particular course, we are gonna charge $97, okay? You know, and since we're doing just a one-time payment, we don't have to worry about the enable initial payment thing because there's not, you know, a next month, there's not gonna be a charge or they don't have to buy another um, another uh, helping of this particular course uh, next month. So we don't need to worry about enabling the initial payment because there are no subsequent payments with this product. But again, if you did have something like that where, hey, first month they're paying this, but then the next month they gotta pay this, this is where you'd set that up. I'm gonna click save. Now from here, this is where you're kind of finalizing the pricing. You know, is there a shipping cost to this with a digital course? There's not. If you have to collect sales tax, you would do that right here. And then here's where you would establish your refund policy. 
And again, with typically with the course, you want to give at least a seven day, um, you know, right kind of a right of rescission period. You know, if they just don't like your course, you don't want people online or on social media complaining about your course. So, you know, you might want to offer some type of refund. But again, depending on the nature of your course, you know, and again, with digital courses, you know, you may not want to offer a refund. So either way, that's up to you, uh, that decision. And you would make your selection here and then go ahead and click save. Okay, and then we go save and next. And all the contents of this product. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna set up the uh, product page. So this will be the main page that you're using to sell your membership course. And we did actually create a page for this course, a uh, little, little uh, again, this is just a test page. But we set that up right here and I'm just gonna grab the link to it. Actually, I do not need to grab that link. Let me jump back over here. And I can create destination page as a Kartra page, okay? No particular site. And we've created the test lead generation course sales page, right? And I can click save right there. And now this will be the thank you page. So once they've actually paid for your course, okay, where do you want to send them? And that's something we did not set up. So you, again, you'd want to have that set up to where you have a thank you page, um, where they're able to maybe see a video from you explaining, uh, hey, you know, thanks for, for purchasing the course. You might want to have like kind of like a thank you page there. And then below that, uh, below the video, you could have a little button that they could click that brings them to the course login page, you know, something like that. But again, we don't have that configured. So for now, I'm just going to put Google in here, okay? Just so that way we can proceed. But again, you'd want to create a thank you page. That way, once they've made the purchase, they'll get redirected to the thank you page. Okay. And I'm going to click save and next. So from here, this is where you'd set up if you want your how you want them to check out. So again, you can create it to where they can uh, buy right on a Kartra hosted checkout page. You can have it as an overlay, you know, on your website. So they click the button to buy, you know, the course, and then from there it'll pop up right then and there um, with the ability to purchase. They don't actually have to leave the page. So I like that. A lot of people are using the pop up now, so we'll, that's what we'll use. We'll click save right there. These are the fields that you're going to ask for or the information you're going to ask for when they're actually making the purchase. You know, and these are the defaults, okay? You could always add some of this stuff if you want that additional information. Perhaps you want the phone number. So you can go ahead and click save right here. Perhaps not, okay? Again, if you don't need their phone number, don't ask for it because the more things that you ask for, it lowers the chance that they're going to want to fill it out, okay? So from there, we're going to leave all this stuff blank. We're going to use the straight up checkout process. Um, if you wanted to add a cart abandonment tag, so let's say they went to buy, okay, your course, they clicked the button, it brought up the payment stuff, but then, you know, and again, they're one of your leads, uh, but then they, they walked away, they did, they closed the window or they just didn't buy the course, you can actually have it set up a tag that lets you know that, hey, they walked away, they didn't buy the course, and from there, once they have that tag, you could create an email sequence that goes out to them, encouraging them to, hey, go, go back there and check out the course, or you know some additional information to uh, perhaps uh, get them to want to go ahead and make the purchase, okay? But for now, we don't have that set up, so we're gonna leave that blank. Uh, check on language, we're gonna leave that as English, because this, uh, this course is in English, okay? Uh, if it's not, you can change that. As well, you could set up the uh, billing agreement here, um, you don't have to activate this, but I prefer to do so. And in more and more places, it is required that you're very clear about the billing terms before they can actually pay you for the product. And again, this is for your protection and for the customer's protection here in the United States, this is required. So we're gonna wanna click yes right here, okay? And what you're doing is you're just gonna put, you know, I agree to the billing terms. Okay, and I'll show you what that ends up looking like. And we're gonna turn this on. And so what are our terms? The terms are one-time payment of $97 for lifetime access to our lead, lead generation course. Okay, and we'll just leave it at that. And right now we don't have a bump offer, so we're just gonna save this right here. And then we're gonna click save and next. And so now the next step is what do you want to happen post sale? You have the ability to add them to a list. So if you wanted to create a specific list for people that have this course or paid for the course, you could set that up right here. If you wanted to tag your customers and you know, certainly 
you know, if they're already on your list. And some folks may not be on your list, so you may want to go ahead and add the ability for them to get on your main list. And what I like to do is have one list per business or one list per website. And then as they take different actions and as they do different things, um, you know, tag them accordingly. So if they're not already on this list, I want them added to the list. And then from there, I'd like to tag them. Okay, so yes, let's tag these customers. And let's create a new tag that they purchased lead generation course. Okay, and that'll be my description as well. My category for all these particular tags, okay, is the same. And then I'll click create. And so now I'm gonna set this up to where whenever they buy this course at this price point, they're gonna get, and I click add right here, and it's gonna give them this tag. And from there, if I wanted to, I could create an email sequence that gets activated whenever somebody gets this tag. You know, maybe I wanna send them some additional information about the course uh, to um, you know, kinda of help them go through it, encourage them to go through the course. Perhaps I want to let them know if there's additional support available. Maybe you have another course or another upsell or another program that you'd like to offer them once they've made this purchase here. So either way, we're gonna have that tag. We'll go ahead and click save. And now, okay, since we're selling access to one of our membership websites, here's where they can access your product's contents. Okay, so if it was just a download, you know, you click this right here, right? But this is actually a Kartra membership. We want, to, we want them to gain access to one of our membership websites. So we're gonna select this, and you can choose from the memberships. And, and the one that we set up for this was our test lead generation course. And we're gonna set them up with the standard level because we only created one level with this, with this purchase, okay? And then we'll click Save. And then Advanced Automations, if you wanted to set those up, you could do that here, but we're not gonna spend any time with that, so we're gonna click Save and Next. And then this would be the area where you can add um, options for your affiliates. So if you have affiliates working for you or you want um, other affiliates to be able to refer people to your course, Okay, this is where you'd set up how they're gonna get paid. You configure that in here. Or if you're wanting to uh, pay your affiliates just to have people uh, come to one of your, uh, have them send people to one of your websites where they opt in on a form and you're paying for the opt-ins, you could set that up in here, okay? For now, we're gonna leave these two blank. We're not gonna worry about affiliates just yet. So let's click Save and Next. And we are done, okay? And so now, okay, let's go back to products here. You know, we will see that we have now two products. We had our consulting that we created before, but now we also have this lead generation course. Okay, so how do people gain access to be, how do, how do people get to the point where they can actually buy your course? Well, there's one more step to make it available on our course sales page. So let's jump in here to pages. And if you remember, and in a previous video, we had created this little uh, mock-up uh, sales page. So I'm gonna jump in here and I'm gonna go to edit, okay? And again, this page needs to be tweaked, okay? Depending on your course and what it's all about, you'd wanna make sure that this page has all the information about your course, all the things that they're gonna learn, all the features, all the benefits uh, of your course. You know, really people need to know what they're going to get out of it. Okay, so you wouldn't want to leave it just you know blank like this. You'd want to really fill it in, make sure it's all there. So that way people you know have everything they need on the page you know, to make a decision about your course. Okay, but again, this is all just still a template. We left it as such. Okay, but to activate it, to make it to where people could actually have the ability to buy your course, that's where the button comes into play. Right, and here we're going to use this order now button. We're going to click the edit here, the little uh, pencil. And just like we did with our consulting product that we created in a previous video, we're just gonna go ahead and click where it says link right here. And so whenever anybody clicks this button, uh, this section is where you're telling the button you know, what it's supposed to do. And so when people click this button, I want them, I want this thing to pop a product checkout. So I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and I've got a few more things to fill out. So which product? Okay, so we want the consulting, or I'm sorry, not the consulting. We want the lead generation course to be the product that it pops here. The next thing it's gonna ask is which product, and again, it's the lead generation course. 
And then as well, it's gonna ask you which price point. And again, we only set up one price point here for 97 bucks. And then it's also gonna ask you, do you want it to bring them to a default Kartra checkout page, or do you want it to use an overlay pop-up checkout form? And that's what a lot of people are using right now, so we're gonna select that, and we're gonna go ahead and click Apply, okay? So from there, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I'm gonna click the arrow over here, and I'm gonna save this page. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and publish this page live. Okay, I'm gonna close these other two browser windows. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make sure it works. So let's go ahead and click this link right here, and this will be the page to this um, course sales page here. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here, paste. And so here is the kind of the dummy page that we had set up to sell our course, okay? And hopefully you can do a better job than just the generic template. Uh, but now when we click this button, it's gonna pop up the overlay and give us the ability to purchase the course. Okay, and we set it up, you pay $97 for this course, click continue. They would fill in all of their information here. And then on the next page, and we only set this one up with PayPal, right? Uh, again, if you have integrated your Stripe, you could have both options available and they could choose either a credit card or they could choose PayPal. And this right here, okay, is before they can even go on to PayPal to pay you, they have to agree to your billing terms, okay? And again, this is just very, very important. And what we put in there is I agree to the billing terms. And what are the terms? When you hover the mouse over this, it tells them right here. It's a one-time payment of $97 for a lifetime access to our lead generation course. They would then click this right here, and then they would go ahead and click to submit the payment. And since we have it configured for PayPal, it would actually bring them to PayPal, so that way they can go ahead and pay you for the product. And then from there, once they've paid for the product, it's going to then transfer them to your product purchase thank you page, whatever you designated, designated that page to be. And then as well, they're gonna get an email from Kartra directly with their login credentials for your membership website so that way they can gain access to your course. So there you go, guys. That's how you turn your membership website or your digital course into a paid product. Hopefully you guys found value in this training. If you did, make sure to give it a comment, give it a like below. And again, if you're not already using Kartra, you really should be for your online business. It is the absolute best tool that's out there. And we, we hooked it up for you. Uh, you can click the link below this video. You can get a $1 14 day trial of Kartra. And again, below this video, you'll see a bunch of links in our description um, where we literally are holding your hand step by step and walking you through exactly how to set up your business using Kartra and, and wiring everything together. Uh, so that way you can start utilizing this tool. You know, even during that 14 day trial, within a few hours, you could literally be up and running um, and starting to make money uh, leveraging this powerful system. So if you're wanting to get started, go ahead and click the link below this video to get signed up for a 14 day trial of Kartra. Uh, that's it for this training, guys. I will see you in the next video.